Hey, what's up? What's going on, folks? Welcome back to the American Tradesman channel. If this is your first time here and you like what we're putting out, give us a click down there, the old like button, hit subscribe, keep up on, keep up to date on everything that we're doing. We're always working on something, tracks, trucks, truck, 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 I can't even talk this morning. Tractors, trucks, that sort of thing. Anyway, if you'll notice behind me, if you watch some of our other videos, you'll see the old 600 that we brought back to life from that fence road way back down there. And we're also working on this Ford 3000 again. No, we're not fixing the flat tire. That's not in my scope of practice. But what we are doing, whenever, let me get you out of the sun. Whenever we had it down there at the shop before, um, we tested this generator and it was putting out. It has since quit. So my advice to Donald, the owner of the tractor, was let's do an alternator conversion. So there'll be an Amazon affiliate link with the alternator conversion kit. Um, I really like the way this kit looks. It's got everything you need in it. It even came with wiring instructions. So wire, wiring, wiring instructions. So it should make things go fairly smooth. So let's jump into this. All right, we're gonna start with actually physically mounting the alternator on here. Now I've already unhooked the battery. I didn't figure that would be that spectacular. Here we are, we're going to add our spacer. I know my hand's blocking that, but that's where the spacer goes. Right through the bolt. Okay. Yeah. This is curved here, squared off there. It's curved there. Well, it needs the curve on the top side because the alternator is curved here. The alternator's hitting that, the actual body of the alternator when I try to rotate it up. So we're just going to take a flapper disc on a grinder, knock that down. It's going to lose its zinc coating in those two spots, but it's about the only thing we can do.
that one works. As long as it's got enough adjustment. Now if you look, they're showing that this bracket here is for diesel models. And this one is for gas. However, this one's not lining up. So we're going to give this one a shot. Okay, we have strangled those two. Okay, so our next step, we're gonna pull this plug out of here. And plug in our supplied harness. I suppose. Okay. Now, your heavy wire right here. We're going to put an end on it. Now, this one is to the oil pressure sensor. So, we're going to slip it back on. Get our terminals on. I think we're going to tuck them back there, make it a little neater. There we go. And the red one, too, that was in that harness, it also goes on there. Now that black wire that plugged in here, we'll route it back with our other wire, just following the same path through the same ties and go back up to the voltage regulator. Now this is the part of the job that I'm assuming would probably intimidate most people about undertaking this. You saw there was some aggravation with mounting it and getting things worked out just right, but that's a mechanical process, no biggie. This right here, I can see how, you know, uh, it would be a little, little spooky, but it's really, really easy. You've got your terminals are lettered across here. You have E, D, W, L, F, and then two for B. Well, WL, let's just, let's start there, because that's part of your kit. WL stands for warning light. So we know that our black wire that we brought up here from that conversion kit where it plugged into the side of the alternator, this one, according to the directions, is for the warning light. All right, no biggie. Let's go ahead and let's make that connection. All right. Now we're just going to do this up nice and neat like. We got this wire hanging out of that bundle. So we're just kind of going to follow our bundle of wires, making it nice and neat. So we'll just do it right there at the very end, just like it sits. And that'll give us enough slack. We can tie it up neatly. And this is a nice protected little connector. That's a good deal. Okay, so there's ours that came from the WL terminal. We're going to plug her up. Okay, so that one's taken care of. E is for earth ground. 
This one is your other of the two wires that went to the original generator. So we're gonna make this a ground. Go ahead and snip it. And when we take our voltage regulator out of here, we're gonna throw a ring terminal on this one. And we'll end up hooking it back into one of these bolt holes. All right. These three, your two battery and your field, are going to be hooked together. So we know all three of these get hooked together now. So let's get that happening. Now this is the little connector that they send. Three ring terminals riveted together. I don't like that. So I'm going to use one of these. But, like I said, we're going to go ahead and get these stripped down and wired up. There we go. Now originally, I just said I was going to hook that to ground, I'm not. After going over and looking at it, it's really going to be more hassle than it's worth because there's not another ground stud on there. So we're going to take these ends up, D, the terminal D, we haven't mentioned yet, just for drain, I'll be quite honest, I don't know generators that well, so I don't know what that was for. And you can comment down below and tell me I'm a moron for not knowing and da 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 da, da whatever. Be nice, be courteous, but uh, I really don't know. So, there's that. We're going to go ahead and pull the regulator out of here just because it doesn't need to be there anymore. And then uh, tidy up some wires, hook up the tack cable, and we're ready to test it. Put this tiny little battery little lumbar battery in there. Awesome. Okay, That's my power to go. Yeah. Okay, so with all that racket in the background, try and get it where you can hear me good. It's done. That's how you put a alternator conversion kit, a GM1 wire, so to speak, even though it's technically free, but whatever. That's how you put one of those on a 4 to 3000, a 2000, that whole series. Um, if you got any questions, throw them down below. I, I try to keep up with the comments always, you know. I mean, we're not a big channel yet by any means, so. I'm, we're putting these out there to try and help folks. So if we can help you out, holler at us. We're going to put a link down in the description for the uh, actual kit that we used. Um, hit that like button if you enjoyed this. We appreciate it. Um, subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you later.